the Tri Cities has been supportive of national missions since 1943. First it was World War II, then it was the Cold War, uh, the cleanup of Hanford and all of the weapons complexes, and now we're looking forward to the future. And in the future, we see uh, the energy future at the energy park that we're looking for at the south end of Hanford. We're hopeful that the cleanup decisions being made today and the cleanup actions being taken ultimately prove to be protective for future generations. This place is so sacred that uh, we're part of this land and this land is part of us. I think that's what we work hard toward word, is to stay here because this is who we are and this is where we belong. When I grow up, my Hanford will be different. It will be a place to explore. A place to learn. My Hanford will be a place where people come to visit work, and even play here. That's what my Hanford will be. Mine too. Mine too. Mine too. Fast forward to Hanford a few years from now, where a community founded on harnessing the power of energy over 60 years ago has now reinvented itself through energy's potential where a 586-square-mile site, once home to a nation's plutonium production efforts and its legacy of waste and ensuing cleanup, has been reduced to a final waste management area less than 10 square miles in size, transforming the site's remaining land into a vast canvas of preservation, possibility, and opportunity. Like an architect's rendering, the basic foundation of the future of the Hanford site is taking shape in documents, such as the Department of Energy's Comprehensive Land Use Plan and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Comprehensive Conservation Plan for the Hanford Reach National Monument. Important documents that outline potential uses for Hanford site lands as cleanup is completed, and how these lands and associated waste will be managed and monitored going forward. A new era, already begun, with the completion of cleanup of the Hanford Reach National Monument, some 290 square miles of land, and sections of the site along the Columbia River, the lifeblood of this otherwise arid landscape. A new era, one of tremendous transformation, of land where massive processing facilities, once used to extract plutonium for nuclear weapons, will be managed in a way that is protective of human health and the environment, and monitored for generations to come in the smallest possible area in the center of the site, known as the inner area of Hanford's Central Plateau, while pump and treat systems continue to treat contaminated groundwater. A new era when large tracts of land will enter into long-term stewardship as cleanup is completed. An era when designated site lands have new uses for new missions, including specific areas for preservation, conservation, recreation, research and development, and industrial use. All of this as the Department of Energy continues to test, measure, and monitor the environment and human health to ensure ongoing protection for decades to come. Tomorrow is a Hanford Imagine, a Hanford of possibility. A Hanford where hikers trek across parts of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's vast Hanford Reach National Monument. To marvel at one of the world's most unique geological landscapes, shaped during the Ice Age floods some tens of thousands of years ago. A Hanford where visitors curious to learn more about our nation's atomic history come face to face with the world's first full-scale plutonium production reactor, the B Reactor, in the Manhattan Project National Historic Park, viewing artifacts and touring other remaining landmarks predating the Manhattan Project, 
such as Hanford High School, the Brueggemann Warehouse, and White Bluffs Bank. A Hanford, where tribal nations can practice cultural traditions as their elders did centuries ago. And the techies of tomorrow tour LIGO, the National Science Foundation's Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to witness gravitational waves of cosmic origin. A Hanford, where outdoor enthusiasts fish, camp, kayak, and hike, experiencing firsthand the natural beauty and abundance offered by the free-flowing Columbia River, its shores, and banks. A Hanford, complete with interpretive and cultural centers, providing residents and tourists alike with access to information and stories about our region's rich natural and cultural heritage, establishing Hanford as a premier destination location, increasing tourism, and encouraging economic growth. Tomorrow is a Hanford imagined, a Hanford of opportunity and energy, an exciting new reality with an equally thriving industrial base. A Hanford that takes advantage of our area's highly trained and technical workforce, its robust infrastructure, and research, academic, and industrial flagships to help develop and deliver innovative technologies and solutions that support a thriving local economy as well as our nation's security. New resources that support our country's energy independence and sustainability efforts, attracting new companies and creating new technologies and jobs that are green, clean, and secure. Expansion of the Hammer Training Center to provide world-class training to military, law enforcement, first responder, and regulated industry personnel from across the country and around the world. And technology innovation, fostered through R&D activities at regional research and academic facilities and labs. This is the Hanford of tomorrow, a picture of a bright future, one that will be made possible by partnerships between public agencies, tribal nations, local governments, private industry, and the people making up the surrounding communities. A Hanford that is new, based in potential, powered by imagination, and made possible by you.